Hi, my name's Nick Millington. I'm the Acting Route Director for the Wales and Borders Route. Today, I was going to do a check-in on the history of train performance in the Wales Route. But before I do that, I'm going to go for a ride on this train here up to Hereford from Cardiff, and I'll continue the blog from there. I introduced myself to the onboard crew before we departed, and they were kind enough to show me the services available on this Mark IV train to Holyhead. I've arrived safely in Hereford this evening, thanks ever so much to the Transport for Wales crew for getting me up here safely and on time on the Mark IV train up from Cardiff. I was really actually pleasantly surprised at the, the level of onboard services on that train. And um, from December, uh, Transport for Wales are introducing more Mark IV uh, services from Swansea to Manchester that will accompany the Cardiff to Holyhead. So come and have a look for yourself at the, um, the level of onboard um, service on board uh, Transport for Wales. Anyway, back to my blog. So historically, the Wales and Borders route has delivered a very high performing railway. And you can see on this graph here, which shows the time to three performance measure, that about 18 months ago, performance deteriorated from a point in time and it's got progressively worse. Now we've done a lot of analysis over the last three months and we can see clearly what is causing that performance deterioration. So a really good opportunity now for the team in Wales working collaboratively with our customers to put performance right. And my future blogs will, will show you this journey. So some of the things that we are already doing and of course are planning to do, I'll, um, I'll just highlight those here. So the foundation of all continuous improvement is good data, good analysis. And we have employed more um, attribution and causation staff in our control, more performance analysts, and we're, we're really improving the, um, the performance data um, and causation data so that we know exactly what to do to put the, um, the, the timetable right and make sure that the actions that we implement create the desired outcomes. We're also um, reducing the, the number of temporary speed restrictions on the route here. We have really crunched these in the last six months. They are down to an all-time low level in Wales, but there's more to do. And, um, and removing, indeed eliminating temporary speed restrictions from the railway here in Wales is a key focus for us as well. Trespass is, a, is another cause of, um, of delays and we have ramped up our trespass inspections. We're looking at um, our fencing assets. We're working much more closely with the British Transport Police and we've relaunched our, our route crime board. Inclement weather causes um, you know, significant delays and certainly from now on for, for the rest of this year and into early 2023, we're up against it in terms of the, uh, the, the um, chances of poor weather but we can run a safe railway and, and, uh, and we can be more agile in the way that we manage operational risk. So we will be doing that through this season to make sure that um, whilst we keep the railway safe during inclement weather, we do that with a minimum of, uh, of disruption to, to our customers. We've already delivered some really big um, infrastructure resilience schemes. So the Seven Tunnel, the Seven Estuary, Welshpool and Black Bridge to make, that will make sure that we can deliver a um, high performing railway at times of poor weather. We will continue that resilience work uh, in an effort to, to run the best possible railway in Wales. We've got 400 reliability interventions planned. We're already on with that already, but to, to, to look after our track circuits, our axle counters, our points, our over, overhead line systems, our permanent way infrastructure and more. And we've got a, a very detailed plan for what we're going to do to, to minimise the performance risk that is posed by assets failing. So plenty to do there. We are busy removing diseased trees. We've got 40,000 ash trees on the route that are dying from ash dieback. Our Shrewsbury delivery unit um, is really busy and this year so far has removed 2,000 trees and we're now really busy on a 23 mile section on the South Wales main line to remove the diseased trees there. Uh, more to do there um, but, but a good start has been made. We've got new timetables coming in December, next May, next December and then the following year in 2024 as well. So making sure that those timetables are designed accurately, created accurately, that we can deliver the timetables is also a, a really important thing that we're doing. We're working much more closely with Avanti 
with Transport for Wales, with GWR, with Cross Country and all the freight operators on, on what we can do to, to really focus locally on a, on a high performing railway. And we've, we're setting up eight time to three groups across geographical Wales, all, um, all collaboratively intent on, on driving train service performance at a local level. So all in all, I'm really optimistic that we can put the, um, the train service performance right back up there where it came from. We've adopted a, a target, a, a single uh, unifying metric with Transport for Wales here, which is time to three at 84%. So we are going to shoot for that. We're going to exceed that. And I'm optimistic that, we, um, that we've got the actions in place. We've got some great people here in Wales and we'll focus over the next um, eight, 12 to 18 months at putting the, the train service performance back where it belongs. So for now, I'm going to check out. Um, you'll see more of this detail in my next updates. Um, that's all for now. Cheers, everyone.